I agree with the fire. I... I'm weird, and I like most of the characters. I, I like people that are weird, though, so... That's... Yeah. Alright, time to investigate, I guess. It's a massive candle positioned near the front of the stage. Dull light in that video must have been coming from this candle. The candle this use might be perfect for lighting, but... They didn't bother using a candle. They didn't need to bother using a candle, they could have just used normal stage lighting. Buki had a hemp bag on her head and was hanging from the ceiling. But why did she have the hemp bag on her head? Wait, huh? Hemp bag. Upon further inspection, there's a monomy decal in this fabric. Looks like this isn't just a normal bag. It's the rope that was tied to the baton lighting on the ceiling. Buki hung herself with this rope and died. Hmm. Hmm, from what I can tell, it looks like a regular length rope with no unnatural, freak unnatural features. But despite that, the fact this music venue has a storage room, there shouldn't have been any rope in there. Which means, was it obtained from the supermarket? Did the killer bring it from there? That means anybody could have obtained this rope, and it means it'd be difficult to use this as a clue. <laughs> I wonder if that's true. Oh, I just noticed a little something. Is it okay if I confirm it? Hey! Excuse me, Econ, do you have a moment? To be honest, if you think all these people are like unethical or something, then you've never been in the real world because I've met all of, like most of these people in the real world. Um, what's happened? Um, there's something I want to ask you. There's no doubt Ibuki's cause of death was being hung, h hanged by this rope, right? Well, yes. She had no other external injuries, so there's no doubt that she died from hanging herself. I see. I see, I see. So Ibuki died by hanging herself. That was obvious the moment we discovered the body. Might not have seen it, but we all saw that she hanged herself. <laughs> You're right. Yep, I got it. So this rope won't be much of a clue. I might as well search another place. Jeez, as usual, I have no idea what he's up to. Ibuku's body lay atop the stage. She's wearing the hospital gown she was wearing when she was sick. Hmm? What's this on Ibuki's feet? Didn't even notice this when she was hanging, but the soles of her feet are dirty. It's blood, right? But there shouldn't be any external injuries on Ibuki. If that's the case, this blood belongs to someone else. So she did kill Damn her. right. Hey, Jime, can I talk for you for a sec? You know, I discovered the body before you met up with her, us, right? Yeah, at first I didn't know it was a bookie because of the hemp bag, though. But I knew right away that she was dead and since she was hanging from atop that rope. Like... Which means Buki must have died before Hyoko was tied up. Well... That helps. There's no time of death written on the Monokuma file this time. So I wasn't really sure who died first. It's true, the estimated time of death hasn't been written on the Monokuma file this time. 
But I shouldn't. I should know when Ibuki died because I personally saw it. In that video, Ibuki climbing the stepladder on her own. So right after that. Wait, hold on. If Ibuki climbed that stepladder and died right after, does that mean she committed suicide? No, that's impossible. Because even if Ibuki, Ibuki committed suicide, it doesn't explain Hyoko's death, af death afterwards. Two different deaths happened at the same time. There's no way that's a coincidence. Her arms crossed and a thoughtful look on her face. Chaki was silently staring at the stage floor. Did something drop on the floor there? Mm. Nothing dropped. It's just dirty. Dirty? Hey, hey. See? Take a closer look at the floor. I see. If you look closely. You're right. There are smudges as if something was wiped off. Wait. This isn't something. Is this a blood stain? Yep. Well, a blood stain isn't strange. Yoko's neck was slashed not far from here. But still. Rather, what's strange is why did the killer try to hide it? Hide? So. If they weren't trying to hide it, they wouldn't have bothered wiping it off. The reason the killer wiped off the blood stain? As long as the body is nearby, there's no way they'd be able to conceal the crime by wiping off a blood stain. So, what was the killer trying to hide? stepladder is tipped over on its side. This must be the stepladder Ibuki used uh, in the video I saw. Uh, isn't that a blood stain? Look, there's a blood stain around the left side of the stepladder. As I recall, Ibuki didn't have any external injuries. If that's the case, then it must be Hyoko's blood. Yep. That's the only thing I can think of. Bloodstain that probably belongs to Hyoko is on the left side of the stepladder. What does it mean? Huh. But still. Yeah, I already talked about that. This looks like the music venue's AC unit. That's right. You might be able to adjust the hot air in the music venue with this. Alright, I should mess around with this a little bit, like so. It's running as a heater? Over 86 degrees Fahrenheit? Now I know why it's so damn hot. Better turn off the heater, well, for now. That just cool things off a little. Yoko's body is suspended up against the pillar on the side of the stage. She's wrapped against the pillar with duct tape, and she looks like she was forced to stand upright. Damn it, who did this? According to the Monokuma file, her cause of death was a slit to the throat. Her neck looks like it stopped bleeding, probably, because of the duct tape wrapped around it. But why is Yoko's kim uh, kimono like this? Her kimono is all disheveled. Also, her sash is tied in the front. Did the killer do this, too? But when did the killer kill Hyoko? When, the first, when I first discovered Ibuki's body, I didn't see Hyoko's body there. If that's the case, Hyoko was killed. It must have been during that time I, I was getting everyone uh, before I came back here. But that was barely 10 minutes. Is it really possible for the killer to have killed Hyoko and taped her up in such a short amount of time? Even if it's possible, whoever did this would have had a narrow window of time to do so. Because of the killer must have been, must be someone who doesn't have an alibi during that time, right? Hey! Uh, Jimei, do you have a minute? 
No, you're in the way. Now, now. I don't wish to be in your way at all, but there's something I really need your help with. Help? Actually. If you look closely, there's an unnatural shape bulging from inside Hyoko's kimono. So, I was thinking she might be hiding something. Wait, hold on. Don't tell me you want me to search inside Hyoko's kim kimono. Kim huh? kimono. Huh? That's exactly it. Why? Well, it wouldn't be a problem if she was if she were alive, but she's dead now, you know? Don't mess with me. Are you saying there's no problem with uh, that now that she's dead? <laughs> Fine, if you don't want to do it, I'll just have to ask someone else to do it. Hey! Hey, Kane. Yo! Yeah, what's up? Hey. Well, there's something I want you to do for me. Looks like there's something inside Hyoko's kim kimono. So can you feel around from it for that? What? Oh, I don't really understand. I just gotta check Hyoko's kimono, right? Thanks. Thank you, Akane. Helping each other out is such a wonderful thing. Now then. Let me see. Kind of reached through the duct tape binding Hyoko as she stuck her hand inside her kimono. That's weird. Damn it, she's tied up so tight I can't really reach with my hand. Oh wait, hold on. Yo. There's something. Is this what you're looking for? Is this a key? Perhaps. It looks different than the keys to the cottage. So this might be the key to our motel room. The key to our motel room, huh? But... If our key was so deep inside our kimono that it'd be hard to remove, then it's very unlikely the killer tampered with the, this evidence. Isn't that right? Because if this is a trap, they would have put it somewhere toward the front of our kimono where, so we'd notice it easy, easier. Which means we can conclude this is something Hyoko had with her all along. Okay, so, so far, I'm thinking that Ibuki killed Hyoko, then killed herself because someone told her to. But, someone did have to tie up the dead body of Hyoko after uh, Hajime found the hung body of, uh, what's her face? And because Chiaki, Fuyuhiko, and Mikan all have alibis at that time, then it has to be either Gundam, Nagito, Akane, I'm trying to think of who else it could be. Uh, also, it's not like I'm adding to that or anything, but you look like you were curious about the condition of Hi Hyoko's body, right, Hajime? Of course, that's why I'm investigating. Mm. It's true, there are several mysteries regarding her body. Oh. Well, just hear me out for a second. But out, out of all of those mysteries, what I think the strangest is... See? The way that her body is wrapped around with that duct tape... It's almost like they were trying to hide the wound on Hyoko's neck, don't you think? Hide the wound on her neck? <laughs> I don't really know if that's what their true intention, but I guess it's a big help for our investigation. The reason for the low volume of blood is because of the duct tape is acting as a compress, right? <laughs> if her body was left alone and her throat was slit, the surrounding area would be a sea of blood. Sea of blood, huh? Two dead bodies floating in a sea of blood. That's enough to make anyone faint. After what, hearing what Na Nagito, uh, after hearing it from Nagito, I can totally see the killer using it to conceal the neck wound. What's even stranger to me is the condition of Hyoko's kimono. That's okay. She doesn't have to have been dead before this situation. She could have been dead and then planted there. I don't know why it's like specifying that. A black curtain? 
There's a black curtain hanging at the far side of the stage. This curtain, it's not wide enough. It can't reach from one end of the stage to the other. Huh? It's not really a fur like it's not really a full length curtain. This curtain wasn't originally here, right? If it was, it's strange that it doesn't fit properly. Mm. It's probably obtained from the furniture section of the supermarket. See that uh, the black, uh, the back of the curtain is taped with a temp, uh, for temporary use. Just like the curtain at the supermarket. So you're saying someone took their time to actually bring that curtain from the supermarket? So. If they went that far. This was probably something that the killer really needed for this crime. Why did they need it? Mm. Who knows? Well, it wouldn't be a mystery if the answers came easily. That doesn't seem like this game. This game is very specific with details. It wouldn't be something like, oh, I didn't notice. It would be... Something happened. So let's say, of all the characters, Sonya, Akane, Gundam, and N Nagato, those are the four that I'm most worried about right now. And really, Sonya and Gundam are the most worrying. But why would Gundam kill? Hmm. The shattered remains of a machine are spread all, all over the floor. I see. I see. This appears to be the surveillance ca uh, camera unit. This too must be Kazuichi the put it out. in the music venue for communication purposes. <laughs> Why is it destroyed like this? Um. Perhaps criminal psychological. Uh, criminal psychology is at play here? What do you mean? Well, Even if they know they were not being recorded, there is no way the killer would tolerate committing a murder in front of a camera. Fine. So that's why they destroyed the camera. <laughs> Seems plausible enough. They, they'd they hesitate to murder someone in front of a camera. That's why the killer destroyed this? Then, what was that thing I saw? The, the re Kiwi, the reason why I'm thinking it wasn't Mikan is because she was with us when we were trying to break in the door when uh, What's-Her-Face's body was being tied up. So I don't think it's possible that it could be Mikan. Although, although, it could be Mikan if Ibuki didn't hang her... S no, Ibuki was already hung. By the time I came in and saw her being hung. So, unless she didn't hang herself, got off the rope, tied up Hyoko, and then got back on the rope. Yeah, no, I don't think that's possible. Need to investigate the storage room. There's stickers, uh, on the floor. There's carpeting, uh, wall... Uh, the, the, this thick black paper is folded up on the lower shelf. It looks like wallpaper. There's lots of stickers posted all over the front of the... And this edge of the wallpaper... Looks a little torn, but what does this mean? There are a lot of stickers of venue logos placed here. Compared to last time, it feels like there are less stickers here before. Am I overthinking this? Could she have been there and just wallpaper was wrapped around that pillar around the dead body that seems very likely huh. 
I get out. Did you come here to investigate the storage room too? <laughs> I just wanted to confirm what you were thinking. Is that it? Or is he trying to stay in guard here? Hey. So how about it? Did you find any clues? Tipped over stepladder on stage, the duct tape binding Hyoko. That probably came from the storage room. There might be other things in the storage room that they used for the crime. You always pretend to give me hints, but in the end, you're just going to be the, on the killer's side, right? <laughs> I'm not siding with the killer, you know that. I'm just on the side of whoever acts in the name of Hulk. That's all there is to it. But... That's the main reason why this case is really special. Huh? Man. But I can't say for certain, though. What is this guy saying? As usual, he's not making any sense. Hajime. By the way, Hajime, I still don't quite understand the details of what happened. Right? Hey, if you can explain it to me in detail, I think I'd be able to help give you some more help, useful information. The thing is, this game usually doesn't go with obvious, and Mikan does feel like the obvious choice even for me for this one. Really? You might end up confusing us again instead. You don't want to find the truth, you just want to make us suffer. How mean. That's not true. I'm doing this because I believe it's f for everyone's sake. Oh well. For the sake of everyone's hope, I'd gladly become the enemy. And I won't even mind when I die. Damn it. That's the main reason why I can't overlook this case this time. Huh? What does that mean? <laughs> Regardless, you guys aren't... Not, you guys aren't... You guys... I guess you're not going to tell me anything, huh? Then it can't be helped. I guess I'll just rely on my gut feelings. Gut feelings? Hey. You should come by later, too. I'll go there first and wait for you. Where exactly are you talking about? <laughs> well, obviously, the movie theater. After I said that, Nagito uh, walked out of my sight. Movie theater? Why the sudden interest in the movie theater? You can see a whole body full-length mirror. It's probably used for checking costumes. With a mirror this big, it'd be easy to see how you're looking. Hmm, I guess that's in everything important in the storage room. I guess I should go back to the music venue. It's true. Yeah, these pillars look like they're wrapped with that same paper. Ugh. Although Gundam did say something about the disease before. Which could be interesting to me. <laughs> Even I'm horrified at my power of the eye of the overlord. What the heck is this? Nature. Hm. Collective you will stupid of the fool. World. I cannot believe you haven't noticed that apparent thing. Pitiful humans. They refuse to lift their heads up for fear of doubting the authenticity of the blue sky. Lift my head up. Does he mean there's something up there? I don't see anything. <laughs> if only I'd known this sooner, Ibuki might have been saved. Hey, when did you realize Ibuki was missing? Um, after leaving Nagito's room, I went on to the on-call room, and that's when it came to me. I should go and check on how everyone in the hospital was doing one more time before I go to sleep. And so, I went to the patient's room and noticed Ibuki was gone. So I quickly ran out of the hospital. So that's what happened. <laughs> and then I saw Fuyuhiko in the front of the hospital, so I asked him if he could help look for Ibuki. <laughs> that, that reminds me. Where were you? I thought you were resting in the lobby. 
That's a long story. I'm sorry. It's not like me to doubt you or anything. There's no way I doubt you, because we've been together since this morning. You're right. We were together until you went to the on-call room. That's right. We were together until just before the morning on uh, a monocoma announcement. So I don't doubt you. I'm telling the truth. Um. Um. Is it alright if I continue with my autopsy? If you talk to me again later, I'll tell you what I know. So please spare my life at least. What happened to not doubting me? Now, the biggest thing is, if it looks like Kyoko was cut with a scalpel, it's Mikan. It is Mikan. If it's a thin blade, it's Mikan. Like, surgical blade. Plus, the fact that she was cut and died instantly, like, that's what it said, right, in the Monokuma file. Kyoko, cause of death was blood loss due to her throat being slit by a sharp edged tool. It appears her death was instant. Only someone who knows very much about, you know, certain parts of the body, I think, could do a cut that clean. Something like this. Exactly. I mean, all we have to go on is Monokomo's file, and Mikan could lie to us. For that sort of thing, yeah. So it happened once again. Two of my cherished friends died at the same time. I cannot believe it. How cruel! This is the place where Ibuki sang for Fuyuhiko. Yoko looked like she was having so much fun listening to her music. And now, those two are no longer here. Ah, uh, such a tragedy. I understand how you feel, but please get a hold of yourself. Two of our friends were killed. That's all the more reason why we can't li leave this alone, right? So just as I thought. We must do this for them. We must do this then. For the sake of all the two have, who have fallen. Damn right. Hey, Jime. Take a look at this. Hmm? What? Huh? Look what's in front of the door. Is this a drumstick, right? And it looks like it's broken. What happened to it? Like... If something like this... If something like that was in front of the door... <laughs> I think it might be a really big clue. Why would this be a clue? Hey! Or when we came through the music venue? The door was locked when we tried to go inside. And the four of us charged into the door. But, when I examined it, I found that this door doesn't have a lock at all. Huh? I get it. The door is designed to be pushed open. And this is the shape of the handle. If they used a stick to bar the door here, huh. well, don't you think it would lock and keep it from opening? You mean, you think the drumstick was used to lock the door? <laughs> Broken drumstick on the floor, uh, uh, in front of the door, should be proof of that. Then, how is the killer able to get out outside? Huh? huh? I mean, the music venue doesn't have any windows. This door is the only entrance. They locked the door from the inside. The killer wouldn't have been able to escape outside. Like maybe the killer was still inside when we broke down the door to the music venue. And they waited until we were already at the scene of the crime to join us. I get it. You know. Don't they use tricks like that a lot in mystery dramas and stuff? <laughs> if that's the case, there might not be any evidence of them being around here. Damn somewhere. Alright. I'm definitely gonna find it. I won't let that killer get away with this. The killer was still inside when we broke the door down to the music venue, huh? 
Like you said, that might be possible, but... I've listened to the whole story. I have heard what you two are discussing. Ch Chiaki. That was kind of a cool entrance. Well? Besides the broken drumstick, I have also discovered something interesting. What is it? See? Look. There's a weird glob right next to the door. Uh, uh... Where the right and left door touch, see? You're right. What is this? It looks too... It, it looks too firm to think it's rubber. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't look like rubber. But, as you said that, Shaki bent down and scraped some of the semi-transparent glob onto her, with her finger. <laughs> um... Cha... 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 Don't... <sighs> Why are you putting that in your mouth? God damn it, antisocial types. Uh, it smells like workshop chemicals. And why did you put it in your mouth? Workshop? And this chewiness. I see. This thing may be a glob now, but that doesn't mean it was a glob from the start. For instance, if it was originally a liquid that hardened into this, it might be a po possible to apply it directly and smooth it. Uh, the gaps of a door. What are you talking about? <laughs> God damn it, Chiaki. Just as I thought. It tastes nasty. Chiaki. Uh, Chiaki spat out the glob uh, out of her mouth and left the area. Besides that bit of, uh, besides that bit about the taste, it's okay to consider this is some kind of clue, right? All right, with this, we might be able to close. Uh, uh, we might be close to finish uh, investigating the music venue, but I still need to talk to Mikan. I need to make sure those autopsy results from uh, to get those autopsy results from her. How about it, Mikan? Have you found anything out? Uh, have you found out anything by now? Not to tell you the truth, it's been very inconclusive. Sure. Got it wrong. But it's not my fault. This music venue is just too hot. Because of all the heat, I can't estimate the time of death. Interesting. That makes sense because the bodies wouldn't have grown cold. Because of the heat, is that possible? If a body is overexposed to heat or cold, you won't be able to determine a precise time of death. I see. That might have been the killer's goal. To cover up their time of death by using the heater to make it the inside of the music venue hot. But that's weird. What? Even if this heat uh, is the killer's doing, is there any reason for them to cover up the time of death? I agree. As long as I saw, as long as I saw it, it should be clear that. Uh, what order the murders occurred in. No! God damn it! It's obviously that the little girl was killed first. No! As long as this isn't, uh, imitation murder, there shouldn't be any mistaking the order of murders. Huh? Imitation murder? Huh? Huh? You don't know Hita Ajime? I thought everyone knew. See? It's a murder where the killer uses a creative work, like a song or a film, as an outline for their killing. It's so common in detective no novels, mag mangas, and video games that you start to get annoyed by it. How would an imitation murder be related to this murder? <laughs> well, based on the killing order, and the way that they were killed, it's clear an imitation of that movie. That movie? Good instincts. The assumption is an imitation murder is the reason why the killer killed two people. Mm. The goal was to, of it. The goal was an imitation murder or an imitation killer. Even so, why did they feel the need to do something like that? Do you have a minute? Excuse me. If this is really an imitation of that movie, 
Then is it possible that one or more person may have been killed? This too must be the will of causality. It's certainly conceivable. If the killer wishes to complete the imitation. Hold on a second. What are you all talking about? An imitation matter? One more person might have been killed? <laughs> are you guys worried there's gonna be another victim? Then no worries. Things would get out of hand too fast if a bunch of people could be killed all at once. I'm real cautious. I'm a real cautious fella, so I've prepared the perfect countermeasure. Hmm. Ahem. On this killing school trip, the same blackened can only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? Huh? You mean you've added another rule? Yep. Well, if killing er everyone at once is okay, the blackened would be able to secure an easy victory, right? This new rule will prevent that, and make sure you slam it into your tiny brains. Um... If it is a maximum of two people, then there will not be any more killings? Um... Since you are here anyway, can I ask one more thing? You know, I just want to confirm one of the class trial rules. Hmm. I see, I see. As expected of you, you are very strict about games. I don't want to consider this a possibility at all, and I don't even want to think about someone uh, to think someone would do this. If two cases occur at once, what happens if there are two killers? Huh? Eh? So... Like I said, I'm talking about the possibility that Ibuki and Hyoko were killed by two different people. That would mean two killers exist at the same time, but we can only vote for one person, right? I am concerned. If we can only choose one based on the majority vote, the other person would certainly achieve victory. Yep. Yeah, you're right. See? So what happens in that case? What about a case where there's three incidents instead of two, or four incidents that overlap one another? Silence! Shut up! Yeah. It's okay. I'll make extra sure something like that never happens. Hey. Meaning, two killers cannot exist at the same time. So it's safe to say that applies to this case too, right? Wow. <sighs> I don't like this. All right, fine, fine. That's right. There's always one killer at any given time. And even if they had an accomplice, I'd have you figure out who masterminded it. This is kind of Man, I ended up giving you a huge hint. She made me say it. Gamer brain, gamer brains are not to be underestimated. I should just shut up and go back to my cave. I see. So there's no possibility for two killers to exist at the same time. With this, I guess that narrows things down a little bit. Yep. yep. That makes things a little easier. Fine. Plus, if the killer cannot if the killer can kill a maximum of two people. Taste your powerlessness. It means a third victim would be impossible. Imitation murder breakthrough. You guys keep saying that, and it sounds strange to me. What do you guys mean by imitation? Um, um, could it be you haven't seen it? Seen it? Seriously, seen what? So... Like I said, that movie. Oh my! When we first explored this island, Monokuma was passing out invitation tickets. Then the imitation is... Good instinct. Of course. It's an imitation of that movie. Well... Well, based on the murders this time, it closely resembles that movie, as if they were copying it. As if they copied the movie? I see. Nagato mentioned something about that. You... I see, so you haven't seen it. Still, it's not too late, I think. It's probably a good idea if you go watch that movie before the class trial starts. Looks like I need to do that. Um. Then I should get going too. There are other places I want to investigate. Um. Where do you intend to go next, Jackie? Hmm. Probably the hospital, for sure. The first victim, Ibuki, was there. I don't know what was going on at the hospital in the first place. You are right. Thanks to that despair disease, we could not go in there for some time. She's right. It might be good for me to investigate the hospital, too. 
There might be some clues related to Ibuki's death. For clues related to Hyoko's death, I should try going to the motel. There's still a lot of things that I can do before this class trial. I'll definitely give it my all until the end. Okay, I'm going to the hospital first.